People close to Mary Kay Letourneau and her ex-student Billy Falau tell me that they are both happy that the court order prohibiting them from seeing each other has been lifted. I'm told, however, the much-anticipated reunion has not happened yet, but it may happen tomorrow. But I was able to meet with Billy Falau myself this week when he was here in New York. We had dinner together on Thursday night along with our producer, Andy Dallas, our producer here of the show. Also, Billy's friend, Noel, and Mary's former attorney and friend, David Gerke, joined us as well. Billy was extremely articulate, and he told me that he still loves Mary, even though he's had no contact with her since she was in prison for seven years and just got out this week. And Billy told me that myself and my producer, Andy, are on the guest list for the wedding with Mary, if that happens. Joining us now from Seattle to talk about Mary and Billy's expected reunion is Christina Dress. She's a friend of Mary Kay who actually served time with her in prison. She's also the author of a fascinating new book, which is called Mass with Mary, The Prison Years, which is available online at Trafford.com. And also with us, Greg Olson, the author of If Loving You Is Wrong. Christina, I want to start with you. Um, she got out this week. Have you had a chance yet to talk to her, or do you hope so soon? I haven't had a chance to talk to her personally. I, the last time I talked to her was a couple nights before her release from the prison. In fact, I was joking with Greg earlier that it's too bad that it's easier to talk to her from a maximum security prison than it is from freedom. <laughs> there are <laughs> a lot of people keeping her. an eye on her, right? <laughs> yes, she's under a lot of scrutiny, and but she's in good company. I did have the opportunity to, I stopped by her home today, and I met the wonderful people she's living with, and of course her mother was there, and her mother looks great. I hadn't seen her mom for a number of years from, from the visiting room. Her mom looked great. She was uh, healthy looking, charming as ever, and the people that Mary's staying with seem real. Mary's a lucky woman. They seem um, like really, really nice people. Greg Olson, you followed this case for a while. What kind of a person is Mary Kay? Well, Mary Kay Letourneau is a very complex woman, that's for sure. I mean, there's so many facets of this personality. and. We also need to look at her background to see where she came from to understand really where it is that she is today, which is, uh, you know, she came from a privileged background, the daughter of a former U.S. congressman. Her mother had a television show, a very successful show in Los Angeles. This is a privileged woman who took a big fall, and that's one of the reasons why people are so fascinated with Mary. They want to know how this could happen. Are you surprised, Greg, that the court order was lifted so quickly? Billy's attorney filed, you know, the, uh, requesting it be lifted, and then all of a sudden yesterday, what, about a day or so after she gets out, judges say, look, look, he's 21. You know, she's, you know, has always been of age, but he's 21 now. That's right. I felt that really it's been a long time in coming getting that order lifted and that he is an adult and they do have two children to raise. Uh, this should have happened really when he was 18 years old in my opinion. So it's good news for them and I think good news for those two little girls so that they can figure out what kind of a family they can make for the future. And Christine, I, I had the pleasure of meeting Billy this week. Um, Level-headed guy, showed me pictures of his two daughters. He loves his kids. Um, do you hope yes. that also Mary Kay gets custody, that they can really be a family? Of course I do. I've seen Audrey and Georgia with Mary. She's a wonderful mother. The kids love her to death. They squeal with excitement when they see, when they see her. And uh, I, in fact, I, and I hope the best for her with Billy. I mean, that's what she's been talking about for seven years, and I know that Billy hasn't stopped loving her. Uh, at least that's the way it appears to me. All right, guys. Thank you both very much. And two interesting books. Thank we you. appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. And coming up next, Hollywood Madam Heidi Fleiss is back at it again with a new business in Nevada. What is she up to this time? Hint, hint. It is legal. Heidi joins us next. Live, you do not want to miss this.